Good evening, I'm Adrian Gobril. Our first story tonight is right out of an episode of Seinfeld. Bright signs light up busy parts of our city, like the ones right behind me here at Young and Dundas Square. But what happens when signs such as these move on to a residential street and shine right into your bedroom, living room, or kitchen? That's the exact situation one downtown neighborhood may find itself in very soon, and it has area residents seeing red. It's going to be burned on my brain to see these advertising signs all the time, day and night. Jared Devine lives right on Carroll Street, just off Dundas East near the DVP. His unit and balcony faces the west side of the soon-to-be-built high-end car dealership. And the proposed signage, 10 and all, will be staring right into his mind's eye. Left to right, we're going to see Grand Touring Automobiles, we're going to see Land Rover, we're going to see Jaguar, Rolls-Royce, Bugatti, Aston Martin, and I think Lamborghini. All illuminated right in my face here. Um, our bedroom is just underneath this floor. The dealership moving into the neighborhood is Grand Touring Automobiles. They've submitted these drawings into city staff. Their request is to hang 10 of 17 signs on the west-facing side of the building on Carroll Street, which is partly a residential roadway. The plan doesn't seem to make much sense for residents considering the opposite side of the building faces the DVP, where tons of traffic and eyeballs could view the big bright signage. This is a neighborhood street. All you're going to advertise is the people who live along here, and we're not likely to be buying Bugattis. Call it sign clutter or sign pollution, and I'm not sure the person that made the application even saw the context of where they would be facing. The site is zoned for commercial use, though Councillor Paula Fletcher says the development from day one has lacked any community consultation. The project was approved through the OMB during the last municipal election when city councillors aren't allowed to step in and act in any official capacity. They got a hearing date very, very quickly. Everybody at the city was quite shocked at how quickly they got their date for the OMB. Other people have been waiting a long time for dates, and somehow this one went really quickly. Any idea how that happened? I can't tell you on camera. We paid a visit to Grand Touring Automobile's current location on DuPont near Christie today, but we're told no one was available to speak to us. We also left multiple messages. As of late tonight, still no response. Just trying to figure out which Bugatti I to buy. <laughs> I think they're about $2 million. For Jared Devine, he's just worried what the future may hold. As mentioned, the proposal for the signs is currently in front of city staff. They have 90 days to make their recommendation to council. In the meantime, Councillor Fletcher says she plans on holding a community meeting with staff and area residents in July.